With just a few swipes of the knife, the path of this defect becomes clear. Welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Before we tackle this defect too much further, let's get this foot trimmed up. Ah yes, as expected, we have found the source of her discomfort. So what exactly is this, and how does it form? Well, this is what we call a white line defect. It's a small perforation in that white line, the junction between the outside wall and the sole of that claw. The analogy I like to use is in human terms. Let's say you have your boot. It's perfectly sealed. No big deal. You step in a mud puddle, step in some water. It doesn't make any difference. However, get a small little perforation in the sole of that boot, and now that boot quickly becomes uncomfortable. The same thing can happen with a cow's hoof. Get a small crack in there, and voila, we've got problems. In order to get this to resolve in as quick a fashion as possible, we need to get to the base of that crack, removing all of the detached horn around it. Now, we need to prevent her from putting any weight on this particular claw, and in order to do that, we're going to glue a rubber block on the other one. That's going to elevate the injured claw, putting all of the weight on the good claw, the rubber block's going to act like a little bit of a crutch. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the edges, thinning the margins, and giving it a thorough rinsing with some chlorhexidine to make sure there's no debris trapped up inside that. Final step is a salicylic acid wrap, and she is all done. 